uh, the approach is the same, get better every single day, uh, you know, and just try to play my best game, you know, whoever else is on the field doesn't matter to me. Um, so it's just every single day trying to, you know, bring people along with me and get better. Yeah, you know, just going and having lunch with folks and getting to know people, you know, what their why is and, you know, who they are as individuals so that on the field, uh, you know, you can be the best leader because you know them as an individual because you can't yell at somebody if you don't know them, you know. So uh, just that's that's the main thing as a new guy is just, you know, developing relationships with everybody. How would you describe your leadership style? Are you more of a lead by example? Or yeah, uh, I'd say I'm both. I'm not like the most vocal guy, but you know, I definitely like to say things um, when things need to be said. You know, I'm not going to overemphasize things and uh, you know, over vocalize because I think that's you know that may be a downfall in certain leaders. But uh, yeah, definitely lead by example. Were you always that way, or did you learn that skill through sports and being a quarterback? Yeah, I don't know. Kind of just an innate ability for me. Uh, something I've had definitely. You know, certain things you have to always work on for sure. Um, but, you know, from a young age, I feel like that's something that, you know, I've just naturally had. So. When you look at the spring practice, 1 to 15, it was, like, totally different from you. I mean, just talk about how hard was it really to stay through, you know, each and every day? How was the process for us? Yeah, you know, it's just familiarity in the in the concepts and in the plays and, you know, uh, what, the, what the point of each individual play is where the ball is supposed to go. So, you know, it's definitely a grind. You got to... You got to see different looks, and once you once you get, see different looks and understand where the ball needs to go, when you see it the next time, it just clicks, you know. So um, it's just reps. That's all it is. You feel the coaches really patient with you, like not just trying to like you know get this thing going as quickly as possible. Yeah, you know, there's a mix of both because with with the with the new staff, you know, you want to. They've had success at a lot of different places, so you know they feel like you know they want to get on the ball, but they also understand. You know, it's a new team. It's a it's a new quarterback and everything like that. So they've been they've been really good and patient with me. Given the new staff, how would you describe uh, Marcus Alonso's style when he coaches quarterbacks? When he coaches, uh, I'd say he's you know he's been around quarterbacks for a long time. So uh, the terminology he uses is you know very pro style, which I love because obviously the NFL is the, the end goal for me. So um, you know he he breaks things down and uh, helps you understand it in a way where you know what he shows you in practice is going to translate to the game. So. He does a great job with that. So, both of you, Justin Herbert, obviously, uh, uh, from Oregon, uh, did you get, get to talk to Justin to see like, what, what makes Marcus really tick? You know, so <laughs> I haven't talked to Justin yet. <laughs> Justin's pretty quiet in general, so uh, the day I get to get on the phone with him, I'll definitely pick his brain, but I've yet to do that. So. But like, all, all jokes aside, did you watch Justin Herbert film from Oregon just to try to you know, see what Marcus Oro wants from the quarterback? Yeah, when we watch tape and stuff on concepts we have or you know that we want to put in, a lot of it's Herb stuff, you know, so. I got to watch him and you know his demeanor and stuff and how he handles things. So uh, you know it's been it's been very great. Some people say this is like the most important time of year. You know, from the end of spring practice, uh, spring practice all the way to the first day of fall camp. Uh, even though there's not a lot of football practices going on, but uh, just you know uh, being together as a team, uh, informal workouts. Um, how do you feel about that uh, process that's been going on? And what are some of the things you're seeing right now in July that can spell success in September? Yeah, the thing that's so great about summer, you know, is you get to build relationships with people. Um, you get to know them outside of football because spring ball, you're so slammed, especially when just coming in. Like, I was trying to get to know the offense and everything like that. It's hard to hard to get to know people and players and all that. So uh, just a climb from that. And then, you know, you, you go through everything in spring ball. You understand what you need to work on and, you know, uh, the identity of the team, what, what y'all are good at. And then you can just build on that from there. So then now we, now we get to go watch tape and all the summer, you know, see different looks. Hey, you know, you need to turn your head here, break the short – break the route shorter here, curl here, you know, so it's just different coaching points. And now that they've been able to see that and everybody's been able to see that, you know, it's just constant growth. What have you heard about Camp T or Camp Tonazona? Have you guys been talking yeah, about yeah. it yet? Yeah, for sure. No, they all love it there. Uh, I'm super excited. You know, I get to go be away. I'll probably put my phone down for about four days, which will be good. Uh, being a little cooler weather, but I don't know if I'm, I'm hyped for the, for my, not my own room. I like having my own space. So. <laughs> have you ever done something like that, like a retreat with your teammates? Uh, no team, just like camping experiences with my family, I guess. But. So, maybe fishing, advice you got. <laughs> Man, I, I'm not a big fisher, but <laughs> I'm definitely down to go if people go. Have they talked about a captain setup yet? Oh, they haven't. They've kind of, like, you know, mentioned here and there, but uh, I'm just excited to go and uh, see, see what happens. I'm not I'm pretty open to it all. So.
Yeah, out of the portal, you know, it's just the coaching staff, uh, Marcus Arroyo and Coach Dillingham. So, you know, coming out of Michigan State, being a year in college, I got to see what I like, offenses, you know, type of culture I want to be around. And they fit that exact mold, and everything's played into what I thought it would be. So I'm super, super grateful for that. Yeah, we didn't really talk when he was at Oregon, talked a little bit when he was at Florida State. Um, but mainly it was just when I, got, I hit the portal, we built it. Uh, you know, you have such a short amount of time, so you can't really rely on past relationships. You just got to Craig Nolas. You've seen an article, Sam Levitt, the was in starter for this season. Do you pay attention or you just sort of try to Ain't nothing mean anything until it gets game day, you know. So, uh, I mean, regardless of if that's the case or not, uh, you know, it's still trying to get better every single day. It doesn't change my approach or anything. Chip on my shoulder has always been the same. You know, and hopefully that'll be like that through the rest of my career, regardless of any success, because I feel like that's what makes great players great. So. What are your impressions of uh, Jeff Sims, the transfer from Nebraska? Yeah, Jeff, no, that's my guy for sure. You know, he's, he's really talented and he's a hard worker, big kid, so I'm excited to go to war with him. Players who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your style? You said for people who haven't seen me play? Yeah, like the fans who are curious about you and haven't seen you on film. Yeah, uh, I just say, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a playmaker, so I'm a, po I'm a pocket quarterback, and you know, I'm going to make plays when they need to be made. Um, you know, I'm going to play within the offense. Uh, you know, I got a lot of juice on the field, and I'm going to make some electric plays. So. Uh, I mean, other than weather. Uh, <laughs> You know, I just say it's the people, you know, Midwest people versus um, Arizona. It's a little bit different. I'm from Oregon, so I'm more used to this. Um, yeah, it's just kind of understanding how people work and, you know, what makes people tick. Obviously, on the team, everybody's from everywhere, so it's different. But fans and, you know, when you go to the grocery store and see how people react about things. So. On the Big 12, oh, I'm super excited. You know, you know, those games are always the best growing up watching because it's the highest scoring game. So. I'm super excited to go go to bat and you know play teams and uh, players that I watched in high school and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. Did you give Ed Woods a hard time going to Michigan State? Ed Woods, <laughs> I didn't, but I didn't know Ed too well. But uh, it is funny that he went there. Is there any matchup on the Big 12 calendar that you were circling? Yeah, I mean, there's multiple. You know, Utah, Oklahoma State, Kansas State. Um, you know, just programs and coaches and. Uh, who, who counted me out from a young age and, you know, seeing players who are rated above me. You know, I got on my bathroom, I wrote every single quarterback who's listed above me. So, uh, you know, that, that's what drives me every single day. And, you know, how many names? Uh, well, I only put the top 25. So, you know, it's a little too many to count other than that. But uh, I'm super excited to go prove people wrong. So you say you hold about that sort of recruiting and stuff like that. you hold that personally to this game? Yeah, 100%. Yes, sir. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.